Hi nurses, we're back and the topic for discussion today is the lymphatic system and the immune system. Of course, this is intended for the new nurse. The lymphatic system and the immune system are both entwined like a bunch of vines. They both work together. The lymphatic system consists of our lymph nodes which are scattered throughout the body, which we know that the work is meant to fend off infection. They fight infection They're in the glands, in the armpits, we have them in the neck, we know about the tonsils, the adenoids, even in the bone marrow. Um, they're just all over the body. And sometimes, unfortunately, the body cannot fend off infection. It becomes weakened and needs help like antibiotic therapy or antiviral as the case might be. Some examples of infections as we know are like mumps, um, measles, we might have things like lymphomas which is a type of blood cancer, HIV, colds, flus, and we can think of any number of variables that can weaken the immune system. Let's talk about how the immune system becomes weak. Stressful events can take its toll on the immune system. Here's the case of Tom who owns a small business. He works long hours and does not seem to get ahead. He sleeps very little and is very tired and irritable. His immune system is obviously under assault and he's stressed out all the time. This sort of thing can take its toll. You've heard of incidents of people becoming very tired, depressed, not able to function and again lack of sleep does not help and some people it gets even worse they tend to get more colds and flus and sometimes people will wind up with autoimmune diseases like lupus fibromyalgia and the story goes on and on if you take the time to go to dearnurses.org it's packed of health with helpful information and other autoimmune illnesses and the clinical setting step by step dearnurses.net Let's talk a little about lupus, which is an autoimmune illness. Uh, systemic lupus erythematosus, it's an autoimmune disease and can affect um, more than one organ in the body. Sometimes it affects the heart, the liver, the kidneys, and people who have it complain of feeling very tired. Some people say they feel very fatigued and they can only get so much done before they feel that their day is over. Sometimes people have symptoms like a fever, a rash, and they have that very distinct butterfly rash that appears on the nose when patients have lupus. And here is a patient who's saying, Doctor, I've been feeling very tired. Um, he's been complaining of how tired and achy his joints feel. And this is, of course, the doctor does a workup and the diagnosis comes up with lupus. And the treatment, of course, you've got steroids is one form of treatment that you use, and SAIDs, drugs like naproxen and Celebrex, ibuprofen, to control that pain and ache. And the story goes on and on. Like I said, if you go to dearnurses.org, you'll find more helpful information as well as dearnurses.net. Then the next one we wanted to talk about when the immune system, um, there are other stressful events that can bring on chest pain. It's not only brought on by circulation. Here's the case of a patient, not a patient, but someone who is saying that she has an employer who makes so many demands on her that he's not really concerned about her physical state. She's now beginning to feel very stressed. She's having chest pains, feels like her heart's flip-flopping, skipping beats, and those might be defined as what is called premature ventricular contractions. It doesn't have to have a complete physical base like a heart attack. It could be brought on by stress. And so stress affects the body in many different ways. Some people, like I said, feel very depressed. Some people get very angry and irritable. Some people just lose the ability to cope. Different people have different degrees to which they can handle stress. Some people uh, may seek spiritual intervention. Some people see a psychiatrist. The way in which it's handled, some people use medication. We know that there are many different ways of coping with stress. So I hope you've learned something from this, and have a nice day.